We gotta be slow now. Pandas are cute. But sharks are don't cute. Don't hate sharks. Don't be speechist. I mean, every time. Up ahead. Discussion. <laughs> Even in the team and in the office and whatever. Like, why didn't you do this? Why this one? Whatever. You see, we can't add all of them, so we have to choose. But sharks are always bad, very badly represented in the media and the games and such. They're always nasty. People say that, but then they still come up and go like, oh. Why would you choose sharks over pandas? What is love? Some people don't like cuddly and cute. They want fears and ferocious. Okay. Is it a pandas? Please. That one's one. It's gone now. That one's pandas. examples and this is just to simplify the whole thing and to show you each technique in turn and then I'll show you what it looks like around a proper village. So this is our fake village at the end of here and this just makes it simple. So I'm going to spawn a pillager here, he'll run and he'll start shooting Perkins over here. Hello Perkins, nice to see you. You're going to be our little uh, tester for now and this technique is one that I call plants versus pillagers. So the way that we're going to defend Perkins over there is by creating a wall using two of the new blocks in my sweetberry bush and the bamboo. Now, each one of these has varying degrees of success. The benefits of this one is that it's incredibly cheap because all we've got to do is find some bamboo, let it grow, harvest it, and the same with the sweet berries. So here's the principle behind it. And each of these will have massive pros and cons. So around the village, and this would take a long time, like I said, all of these take a long time to do. You plant all this bamboo. Now all this does is confuse the pillagers' pathing mechanics. And then either side of the bamboo, you can put some sweet berry bushes, or even mix in layers and layers of them. So you could even put some sweet berry bushes mixed in with the bamboo to try and force them to get in there and take some damage as they go against the pillagers. And the other benefit is that it is a natural defense. This is all plant material and it does create a really weird effect. But anyway, let's just bone meal this to speed up the process. Okay, that looks like a pretty formidable defense. Now hey, the thing is, pillagers won't walk through sweet berry bushes. All they do hey, is Harry. stop here. However, if you didn't have the bamboo here to block their way, they would still be able to shoot this guy if he has the range, because obviously it's only one block high. But you mix in the bamboo, and they get very confused. This is a very cheap and easy way to make a wall, and it looks all natural. Yeah! Got to go around the gay portal. straight for the villager, he's trying to make his way through the bamboo forest, and he's taking damage as it goes along. So as you mix them in, it does damage as they walk through, and I've obviously done a pretty bad job here. I could have put more sweet berry bushes in, but now they're stuck. They, they're taking damage, and no. they can't get through. So it's the nice benefit is, obviously, I can harvest these and just create more and more sweet berry bushes. Now, even if I let these guys through, somehow they get through, mm, they so would just stop you. there. However, obviously, if they can see me, they will start shooting. But if they're just jumping like that, it gives you the free ability to just shoot them through the gaps in between. 
Although be careful because they might shoot back. So if you created a really big wall with all the sweet berry bushes and bamboo, they would probably take enough damage to actually die from these. But it is quite a little bit. That's not nice and nice day in the school, eh? To tell another tale. But what does this actually look like in a real scenario? So let's go and cover a real 114 village with this wall fence. And let's see who wins in plants versus pillagers. So I'm going to take the bad omen effect into my village, surrounded by the berry bushes and the bamboo. The rain actually is not working. I'm in a flat world and I just struggle to get it going. So. I actually just oh, sure, I'm it. It. It's like they block right. onto the villagers sure, and it really works. Surprisingly, they can shoot through the bamboo, so you might have a couple of casualties. Mm. The problem is the ravager, he doesn't care at all. So the pillagers get stuck, some of them may even die, but the ravager just stick. Past. Ha! <laughs> Let's continue.
You see. My design.